Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have got what in theory should be the November update for my 12 pans of Christmas, but I'm actually a week late filming it, so it's uh, actually the 4th of December. The figures might be a little bit skewed. We've had an extra week between the last update and this one, and there'll be one less week between this update and the finale, but I'm sure it'll all be fine. If this is your first video of mine that you've clicked on, I will link up, I'll put my 12 pans of Christmas into a playlist, I will link it up in the eye and you can go and watch it from the intro if you want that context. If not, let's just head on into the update. First product to discuss is my hair mask. I'm still quite confident that I can actually finish this by the finale, although it's it's technically got quite a jump to go from there to the bottom. It's quite a sort of runny formula, so yeah, I think I've used this maybe once or twice between the last couple of updates so I feel like as long as I use it like three or four times between this update and the finale it'll be finished. I'm not worried at all. <music> On to my Origins masks. First one in the first update, the unstickered one, that started at 20 grams. Last update there was 7 grams. This update it is finished, it is cut open, it's completely done. Finished the first of those minis and moved into the second, so the two minis together count as one item. And the second mini, the stickered one, started at 21 grams. It was 21 grams as well at the last update because obviously I was concentrating on the other one first and as of this update this is down to 12 grams. Still feels like there's quite a lot of product there but I still think I'll be able to finish this by the finale. I'm not too worried. The other one it started at 20 grams and by the first update I got it down to 7 grams so I used 13 grams of product out of the first one in the first month so if I've got 12 grams of product in a month to go technically slightly less than a month but we'll call it a month. I feel like we, we stand a chance of doing this. I'm sure it'll be in my empties by the end of the year so hopefully this will be cut open and empty at the next update which will be the finale. Another product that I am weighing is my hand cream. This feels like it's actually gone down quite a lot, but there is still a fair amount left weight wise. Started at 75 grams. First update it was down to 66 grams and today it's down to 46 grams. Obviously the grammage includes the packaging, quite a squeezed tube. So I'm hopeful that I'll still be able to finish this by the finale. <laughs> got a really really exciting update. My little tart blush that was in from the start and then it got repressed and whatever. I say in from the start like obviously this is quite a short project. This one's really exciting for me because this was in my year-long project in 2021 so it was with me for a full year last year. Got it down to where it basically started from in this project and as of this update this is done. I have completely panned this blush. I am so so pleased. I feel so smug. I know it's a little like small size of blush, I think it's a uh, 1.5 grams so it's not a full size blush or anything like that but I am so pleased. I just feel like I've been working in this for so long and um, as you can see from my tape the actual packaging has completely broken at the back so it's kind of one of those ones I wouldn't have felt comfortable travelling with it or anything so I'm just so glad that it is done. I really enjoyed the colour. If I didn't have as much blush as I do, I would actually be quite tempted to buy a full size of that blush at some point, maybe in the distant future, but for now, I just, I have such a sense of accomplishment looking at this pan. I did that. So satisfying. Feeling very smug about that one. The next one to discuss, I have to be careful how I hold this now because I've had to pull the top bit off and it's not very stable. It is my Guerlain primer, so you'll see in the markings in the close-up. I've got this right, right down. This will definitely be finished by the next update. Not worried at all. I 
my hair oil this is where we're at with this I actually I thought I might have finished this in this project putting it in I was like oh it's 15 mil it's a three month project say I use five mil per month clearly not and now I've cut my hair short so I've got less hair to use it on obviously I'm not going to finish this within this project but I've made another equal jump down really really happy to just be using it steadily and I know I'll finish it in the new year <laughs> In my first update, I had finished the first mini of the Orbe Featherlight Balm. So in this update, this one started at 19 grams. It was 19 grams at the last update because I've been using the other one. For this update, it is down to 13 grams. Now the other one that I finished within a month started at 10 grams. So not quite sure if I'll finish this or not within the project. And as I've had my hair cut, I've got less hair to, to actually use product in. So I don't know if we're quite going to manage this one or not by the finale, but if not, again, I'll finish it really early next year, so we'll see. I would like to get it out this year, but we'll see what happens. One that I have knocked out that I'm very pleased with is my Ren Pollution Defence Mist. So this started up here, first update it was there, and it is now completely done. So really, really pleased with this, particularly because I think this now means I only have one face mist left, which is in terms of where I'm trying to get my skincare inventory to go, for the most part I would like to only have one in certain categories and face mist is definitely one of those categories. The lip liner that I have in this project is MAC Red. I have realised through having this in this project I do not like this lip liner. I will keep it into the finale but I'm definitely going to be decluttering it next year. I feel like I have to press really really hard to get this to work. I feel like it doesn't give me a very smooth line, it's very very draggy, it seems to feather, it moves, it's not very clean and tidy. Not a massive fan of this one but I have loads of MAC pencil lip liners that I really really like so I do think this is just some kind of a dud but I'm definitely going to be decluttering it in the new year so really glad that I put it in the project because if I hadn't I would have probably been using it every so often and not noticed how consistently not great this was so I'm really really glad that I put it in I'll keep it into the finale probably use it that tiny bit more and then we will be decluttering this by the end of the year The lipstick that is in the project is the one I've also got the lip liner on today so if my mouth is a mess it's the lip liner's fault but my lipstick is this one from Guerlain. I've got it in my Art Deco case for this update. They're 1925. It's a matte lipstick. As you can see it's just like a really true red. Perfect for this time of year. Because it is a matte lipstick I'm not seeing massive progress and once you put it on you don't really need to top it up for the majority of the day so it has just come down another little sliver but I am really glad that I am making any kind of progress on it because if I hadn't put it in the project there'd be no progress. My eyeshadow has drastically changed and I would love to say that it's purely through use but honestly so this is a super shimmery eyeshadow, it's also quite old and just basically every time I use it so much of it kicks off, bits of it just like flake off. It has reduced down another good chunk, definitely it's moving. I do have it on today, I am consistently using it so some of the change is used but a lot of it is just that it flies everywhere every time I put a brush into it. Again, I think once I finish this project, regardless of whether this product is finished or not, I will just be decluttering whatever the remnants are. I may actually finish it. At the, at the way that it's disappearing at the slightest touch just now, I feel like we might actually just have an empty pan by the finale, so that would be very satisfying if we did, but if we don't, I think it's uh, time to say goodbye to this product. So again, really happy that I put it in the project because it would have just sat there if I hadn't put it in and I wouldn't have really realised how consistently bad it was. I would have just used it every so often and been like, oh, this really kicks up and put it back in the drawer and not thought about it again until the next time I used it. So super glad that I put it in and have learned that about this product.
The last product to discuss from Lush and it is my massage bar. This is what's currently left of that. This started at 58 grams. For the first update it went to 26 grams and for this update it's down to 16 grams. If you watched my main 2022 project pan you'll know I actually just finished my Mon Guerlain body lotion so I was kind of using that a little bit more this month to try and concentrate on it and get it out. So I have made slightly smaller progress between the last update and this update on this product but I'm not worried. I think now that the Mon Guerlain one is done and out I'll be able to just concentrate on this until it's finished and I do expect it to be finished by the finale. So that is everything for this update. Thank you so much for watching it. In terms of when this has gone up, in an absolutely mind-blowing fact, next Sunday should be Christmas Day and my plan is definitely to film the finale on Christmas morning and try and get it up that day for you. So hopefully all going to plan. I will see you next Sunday on Christmas Day for the finale. I am trying to get a video up every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday throughout Vlogmas. Couldn't do every single day this year. I just couldn't accommodate it with my schedule because I do work full time. We're now going into the last week of Vlogmas so there's probably not much point in me telling you that if you've not noticed by now that there's the extra content but if you haven't there's the extra content you can go and catch up on and going into this week I will see you on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and then Sunday for my 12 Pans of Christmas project pan finale.